make room for the old, okay? And we bring it in that new, new. channel it is your girl nicole jackson and i'm so happy to be bringing you well i'm not too happy because i have to do this right, before we dive right in if you are not familiar with your girl i focus on contemporary and classic street style fashion beauty and lifestyle so if that is what you're feeling okay make sure you hit that subscribe button down also like and comment on this video if you're thinking about cleaning out your closet and hopefully i can help and inspire you to do that too because this make room for the old okay and we bring in that new new okay we're bringing in that new new for 2020 also make sure you follow me at nicole jack on instagram n-e-c-o-l-e -E is how you spell my name so make sure you follow me make sure you send me a dm lay a comment down below you know let you, let your girl know that you saw this video okay and that you love what you see okay. all right y'all so for this video i'm going to be cleaning out my closet do I look like I want to clean up my closet right now? No, I don't. But I have about an hour before this film call that I can clean out my closet. And I was like, you know, let me record. The reason why I'm cleaning out my closet is because since 2019, I purchased a lot of new things. And honestly, now that has created no room in my closet and a lot of stuff in there, I'm not even wearing. So I want to be very realistic and intentional with the clothes that I'm wearing. So right now I'm going to be cleaning out all the stuff that I have to make room for that 2020 wish list, okay? If you haven't seen that video, shameless plug, I'm going to put it right here so you can see that video. But yes, I need to make room for all the new stuff, all the new blessings, okay? The new clothing, okay? That new Saint Laurent, that new Chanel, that new in my life okay i need all that new in my life and you gotta clean out that old with that new and that's exactly what i'm about to do okay so yes i'm going to be cleaning out my closet some of the stuff i'm going to be donating to charity but the other stuff more importantly your girl is going to be selling okay i sell my stuff now i'm not gonna i'm not like a poshmark type person but there are some consignment stores in dc that i like to sell my items to and i usually sell to and i don't get like a big price back to replenish your credit of how much i paid for it but i'm going to use the money that i made for that to do a thrift store haul which you'll see in the next video okay um but i'm going to use that money to use towards um, a thrift store haul because i need some blazers and there's also some things that i saw on fashion week that i know i can recreate through a thrift store so um all my good items that i know are quality okay i'm going to be giving away to or i'm going to be selling them to yeah i'm going to be selling god they, they're going to take my stuff and if they don't, then I'ma just give it to Tara, my sister. If you're watching Tara, we might get some clothes. Let me get through my closet. So I have a jacket and let me take you through. Alright, so let me take you in my closet. So can we pause? Cause your girl looks good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But on this side, you'll see I have jackets, I have some dresses in here, I have anything that's just like too long to put on my clothing side, I put on this side, but all my jackets and everything are on this side. And then on the opposite side, I have um, skirts on the far right, and then in the middle, I have pants, all pants right here. And then on the left hand side, I have my workout clothes. Um, so it's just like all the shirts, all the jackets that you'll see. And then on the bottom, if you can see, I have all my shirts right here. And honestly, this is what's taking up so much room. I can't fit anything else on there. So that's how I know, like, since you gotta clean out your closet. Um, I also have like sweatshirts up here in my different cubbies. I have like tank tops, t-shirts down below. I kind of already went through that this weekend because I just literally had no more space to put my t-shirts. And I received so many like free t-shirts like from undergrad or through my run club. So 
went through some of that and that I'm gonna be uh, that I'm gonna be donating um, but then I also have my sweatpants right here um, these are like just some uh, casual like leggings and, and pants that I wear like every day and then I have my workout pants and then like some night pants that I wear around the house and then like any shorts or stuff that I have down here I definitely gotta forget I definitely have to get rid of some of the shorts I'm not getting rid of shoes because you girls just keep me out so yeah, let's go ahead and clean out my closet. If you already haven't checked out, check out my blog and check out the YouTube video for my 2020 wish list because you'll see what I like. And then it should, yeah, there should be a new blog out too where you'll see um, like my favorite fashion week designer pieces and you'll see kind of like the vibe that I'm going to be going for for 2020. So this clean out is just to make really, to really make room for all the pieces that and the vibes and the clothing that I want to be on. Um, pertaining to like the fashion week trends and then just my personal trend that I want to be you know investing my pieces in so <sighs> let's get to cleaning um hey google what time is it hey google what time is it it's 2.08 all right I got till three o'clock let's go ahead and start these closets these are all the hangers i got these are the things that i'm going to be selling right here um these are like things that have price tags on them so i'm going to take the price tags off so they don't see how much i paid for them so i can probably get more and these are the things that i'm definitely going to be giving away um i'm probably going to go through my closet one more time just to make sure but as you see it's like so much more room I can actually side my clothes like so much of a difference um this side pretty much keeping a lot of this stuff because it was stuff that I wear but yes y'all let me go through it one more time and then we'll see what we got all right y'all so I went another round um and pulled out a lot more clothes that um a I'm not wearing some stuff I was like oh I want to keep because it's like you know reminiscent or you know it's one of one but if i'm not wearing it i don't need it in my closet no matter what it looks like and what it is um so i pulled out a lot of stuff a lot of stuff my closet is very much i mean it's still a lot of stuff that's in here but it's, it's very much definitely able to move around and um got rid of some hats i had a i wear a lot of hats i got rid of a lot of hats um jeans that i wasn't wearing and certain washes that i know i'm not gonna wear so i got rid of those sweatpants that were too big um undershirts and um like little tank tops that um, i wear on the things that i don't really wear anymore so i have a lot of the functional things that i have in my closet all right so that's all i have for you guys i'm gonna go ahead and put all these things in bags i have a charity pickup that's coming pro tip you don't have to go to goodwill you can make a charity pickup on a designated day and they can meet you at your house and pick up your things just leave them right outside and they'll pick them up so um, i'm gonna go ahead and put the things that are charity in a bag that's gonna be picked up on wednesday and then i'm gonna go ahead and put the things in a bag that i am selling um and do that tomorrow hey y'all so it is a new day <laughs> from that video i posted before but it's like probably a week later after i filmed 
my um, closet spring cleaning but I'm in DC because I had to go to a meeting um, but I went ahead and packed up my clothes because um, there's a couple of consignment places in DC where you can sell your clothes so since I'm here for a meeting I thought you know I would go ahead and try to sell my clothes so I'm on my way there now um, before you ask, these are my sunglasses, the Saint Laurent that I got from Saks Off Fifth. Um, I'll link my blog post if you want to see how I got these, but I got these for a great price. And I thought I wanted to be a little flashy. I haven't worn these really, so I was like, yeah, let me pull them out. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a glitter silver and gold with the gold Saint Laurent sign um, or East Saint Laurent sign so yeah I'm on my way there I'll be there in about I'll be there in about maybe 10 minutes I'm so hungry but I gave up fast food for Lent so I cannot even eat out right now I'm starving but I want to go ahead and do this while I'm in DC so I can post this video and show you how much money I possibly make. Let's hope that, you know, I get some good money, cross your fingers, because honestly, it'd be a hit or miss. Like you come in there with good stuff and then they literally don't take it. But then when you see the stuff that be on the, I don't want to say racks, but the rounders, the stuff that are on the rounders, it'd be ugly stuff. Ugly, old, look used. And you're like, you're coming in with quality shit. Um, so I'm hoping that at least, I have three bags. Hoping they take one of the bags. And then I like, two of them are like Trader Joe bags. And then one of them is like a reusable bag. So it's not like I'm coming in with stuff. And pro tip, don't come in with a trash bag. Because I feel like they preconceive, like they have preconceived notions with the type of bag that you come in with. I wouldn't recommend coming in with a trash bag because it's like, for me, it's like if you care for your clothes, it shows with the bag, they'll probably offer you, um, they'll probably take your stuff more, but if you're coming in with a trash bag, it's looking like this some shit. So, um, yeah, I have on, oh, you can see my sunglasses way better right here. The East Saint Laurent, looking so good. Um, I have on my jacket from Pretty Little Thing, and then I have on a old school Suzara turtleneck. Um, it's 58 degrees here, so it feels good. So that's why I went with the light camel coat. Um, I talk about it in my last video about good coats for spring since it's feeling very spring. So shameless plug, check that out. Okay. Um, but yeah. Well, I just thought about it. Like, I definitely had music playing and licensing. <laughs> Hope the feds don't get me for real. Um, but yeah, I'm about to be on 14th Street now. So I will check in with you guys later. Mm -hmm. Y'all, at this moment, someone had me all the way messed up. So, ain't no apologies here, okay? What are y'all doing? The is a turp Oh my, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> y'all, this car literally cutting me off the road. Like, I'm invisible. I'm like literally right here. Anyway, I went to Buffalo Exchange. 
Um, I had three bags. They actually took quite a lot of stuff. I really thought that, well, I had a lot of good stuff because I gave away a lot of good things that still had tags on it. Oh, let me turn this down. I gave away things that still had tags on it and um, I had a lot of good things in there, things that old Nicole would have worn and kept, but new Nicole was like, no, I don't want to keep. Um, so I made $39, which is actually pretty good. If you, so if I was to get a store credit, they give you an option to store credit or the cash. The store credit was like $70. Um, and then like the price of my stuff that, um, for them to sell it, it would be like 130. So it'd be 130 in what they would make selling my clothes. And then, so I can take like the 60 something, um, and the, uh, take the 60 something in store credit or the 39 in cash i don't shop there so i took the cash um although i did see a top that was pretty cute but i was just like no um you know save it for something else or just take the cash basically bitch take the cash but honestly that was a good thing i may either drop the rest of the clothes off to salvation army i may save it for my sister i may put it on poshmark i don't even know for sure um but may 40 dollars. they took maybe like six or seven pieces which is pretty good they took a dress i maybe paid like five dollars for like they took they, they took good stuff that i knew was so i actually wish that second store was open because what i would do was go to buffalo bills first and then sell my stuff and whatever was left over i would go to the second store and make some more money um okay so yeah i kind of wish they were still open but um yeah um i really think they have plato's closet in virginia i may consider going there just to see what the vibe is um but again i would have to see how far it was because the only plato's closet i knew of was in north carolina when i went to college and i used to sell my shit there all the time um just stuff that i was tired of wearing and i wanted to get rid of so but i'm always literally selling stuff like i always sell clothes if you know me you know i sell my son's clothes which i will put that in a video coming soon because that's also coming up uh that can kids consignment sale so again make sure you subscribe to my channel like and comment this video if you like my whole consignment spring cleaning getting money for your clothes um video let me know too in the comments like where you like to sell your stuff out where you get the most money for your items you know recoup that cost and i will see you guys in the next video let me get out of these six oh i'm out Oh, you can see me. I look a little bit better. I look a little dusty. Don't mind me, y'all. Like, I had a meeting. I was rushing. I literally just threw on foundation and we was calling it today. But I'm about to get on 395. I gotta go. I'll talk to y'all later.